Week 23, boats again the right way up and I'm gonna start working on the interior. There's gonna be a lot of sanding and varnish and sanding and varnish but I also have other things I have to do during this week. I finally got my um, my one of the hatches. This is made in Italy. It, the make is Nuova Hade, I think. Don't know if that's the right way to say it, but uh, it's the 380 by 380 midline hatch. I'm gonna cut the opening on the rear seat and try to fit this this week so I can start on fitting the rudder as well. And I have that yard still to finish. So a lot of things to do this week. Let's see how many of them I can actually finish. <laughs> The whole boat has been sanded before, but because I've been working on um, the gunnels, inels and all that stuff, and the knees, now there's some drops of epoxy, some drops of glue, so I'm going to have to check everything. I'm going to start from the bow and go all the way to the transom. And then I'm going to move the boat forward a bit so I can start working on the transom because I haven't even touched that yet. Damn guys, this is hard. Thank God our friend Vitor came over the other day and brought some of his homebrew beer. So, thanks Vitor. Cheers guys. That's all the sanding done. Eight hours sanding this boat, just the interior. Uh, next, I think I'm gonna work on the transom opening for the tiller. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I almost screwed that one up. <laughs> that was a close call. Luckily, it was on the side that needs to be cut, not on the other side. There is one or two little gaps. Maybe Epoxy will fill it, I don't know. I guess I have some Epoxy to do before I go and have dinner. But first I'm gonna try and get as much dust out of this workshop as possible. That looks a lot better. I'm starting to think I, sh I should have bought one with a removable cover for you because of the tiller, but it's alright. If anything, I'll have to replace it later. That's a 64 millimeter, so I need to find the point there at 32 by 
I was trying to find a way of applying varnish in between these spacers and it doesn't look like an easy job to be honest. So I asked for advice on the Got Talent Skiff Facebook group and after a few suggestions from a bunch of the guys, um, Matt and Brian came up with the idea of either using the loop side of the Velcro or terry cloth. Didn't even know what that was, I had to Google it. But anyway, um, turns out I have some microfiber cloth in the house and they are like little loops as well. And this won't release any dust or any particles or anything. So I'm gonna try and make a brush out of this using some bits of plywood. I'm not gonna use any towels around because this is all square here. It doesn't make any sense. I wouldn't reach the corners then. So let's try it. If it doesn't work, I'm blaming Brian and Matt. <laughs> but if it does, it's totally my idea, okay? Let's hope this works tomorrow. Oh, by the way, guys, I looked at the marine chandlery, marine chandlery supplies, whatever it's called, and this piece was 15 bucks for one. I got this for 3.99, if I'm not mistaken, on the local hardware shop. You've got the anchor there. For marine purposes from the hardware store all of them were like a third of the price why why they do that i got a proper hoover or if you're british a vacuum cleaner um, <laughs> try and get some well most of the dust out of the boat now after much debate on the goat island skiff facebook group about which part should I um, varnish first. Um, the vast majority went for go with the nooks and crannies like the spacers uh, made under there and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give it a quick clean and then I'm gonna start varnishing. And I should add this to about 10%. I don't have a measuring cup so I'm gonna do it by weight. Um, this is about 0.9 kilos per liter. This is 0.8 kilos per liter. So there's a 10% difference between them. But since I'm diluting this to 10%, the difference will only be, or the error will only be like 1% on the dilution rate. And I can live with that. That works all right. First coat, most of it looks all right. But the front deck, I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but there's a bit there, got all lumpy. I don't know what happened there, because everything else in the boat looks all right. Tomorrow I'm gonna wake up early and I'm gonna start sanding that. So I can apply a second coat in the afternoon, hopefully. First coat is dry. I'm about to start sanding all this. I'm gonna apply a second coat, also diluted 
Um, but I'm going to try a different approach today. I'm going to try and spread the varnish with that and then tip it with a big brush. Well, what can go wrong? <laughs> I'm going to have to sand it anyway, so. That's horrible. It's full of little hairs from that roller and I've washed it before. There's hairs everywhere. Not gonna use that anymore. That's it guys, second coat. It's looking alright now. One more to go. That's all I'm gonna apply on these three coats. I've applied for more time on the building permit, um, so depending on the answer I get, I might apply more coats or not, but the plan for now is three coats, and then turn it upside down, work on the outside. I'm about to start the third coat of varnish on this boat, uh, the first time didn't go too well, I tried not to put too much varnish but uh, in the end I could see all the, the brush marks, all the, 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 the strokes were visible and I didn't really like it, obviously then sanded. Uh, second time around I spread the varnish as much as possible so I really stretched that varnish and end up really nice. Uh, really flat, no, not many marks, but I'm afraid I probably didn't leave enough varnish on the boat at all. So um, now I'm going to do the right opposite. I'm going to load a lot of varnish on the brush. I'm going to apply a nice, generous coat. I'm pretty sure that will be right on these panels, on the horizontal um, surfaces. But I'm a bit worried what's going to happen on the side panels. Uh, I hope I don't end up with a pool of varnish uh, on the fillets and on the shine logs but if that happens, well, more sanding and another coat and another coat of varnish can't be too bad, can it? Also, the first coats uh, were diluted by 10% and now I'm gonna apply straight out the can I just put it in there so the brush can actually fit in there um, Let's see how it goes Not quite sure how this is gonna pan out, but okay. So that didn't work too well because I I can see runoffs everywhere. Uh, <laughs> I guess there's a lot of sanding for me tomorrow. Finished the third coat, and it's a disaster. It's the worst of all of them. Uh, way too much varnish. Just to have for you guys to have um, an idea, I used 0.9 liters. On the other two coats, on this coat I used 0.8 in just one coat. Way too much varnish. I've got puddles of varnish by the fillets there and then I tried to uh, compensate on the other bits uh, doing less varnish. It doesn't look good because I can still see I can still see them all the brush strokes. The only way I found to get a proper smooth finish was uh, spreading the varnish as much as possible so that I end up with a very thin coat of varnish but at least I don't have you know lumps and runoffs and puddles and stuff so I'm gonna sand that one tomorrow and then I'm gonna apply a very thin coat uh, and hope for a better result more sanding it does look better on the horizontal surfaces, although there's a lot of dust still. I don't know how to get rid of that. Um, but then on the on the sides, it's just a nightmare. I can get a much, much better result with epoxy than I can with varnish. Look at that, that's like mirror finish. 
No, padł się nieźle. Right, today after, and this looks like absolute crap. <laughs> um, there's runs everywhere. The varnish hasn't even dried completely yet because it's such a thick layer. Uh, can't sand that. Uh, even flies. I've got little flies today on the varnish, which I never had on the other coats. So I'm gonna have a hell of a time trying to sand all this off and straighten it out again. Hopefully we'll still end with some kind of decent finish. Right, I'm about to start the fourth coat. And this time I'm going to use very little varnish. <laughs> I'm not... Uh, I really made a mess of it on the last one. I don't want to do it again. I'm going to do the vertical surfaces first. Um, and then I'll try a thicker coat <laughs> on the horizontal one. I'm not bothered with the bottom or even the front deck because I intend to put anti-skid in there um, but the mid seat and the um, rear seat I would like to have a better finish on them. So let's try again. This will probably not be the last coat <laughs> so I'm diluting this to 10% again. Um, see if it flows a bit better. Not that I had any flow issues last time, <laughs> actually flowed too much, but... Right, wish me luck! <laughs> We are having a freakish hot weekend. It's 32 degrees in here today. Okay guys, fourth coat is done now. Um, it's not too bad, but I can already see lots of dust landing on the, on the varnish, so it won't look like a piano, that's for sure. Um, the horizontal surfaces look alright, the other ones I don't know yet, I can't see the reflection uh, while I'm varnishing, so it is what it is. I never thought I would end up with a piano, to be honest, but I did aspire to be more than a ukulele. <laughs> But you know what? It's my ukulele and I'm gonna play it like Israel. Guys, stay safe and I see you next week.